Hey guys and welcome back to another YouTube video. In this video we're going through the last game of the round, the fourth upload today to catch up. Um, it is Adelaide versus West Coast in which yeah, Adelaide just put a beat down on West Coast. Um, they almost won by 100 points. 137 to 38, 99 point margin and yeah, just shows the uh, West Coast away from home is just not a good product at the moment and I don't know why I tipped them in the end to be honest. Um, but I mean, we can all have a laugh about that, um, that, uh, failed tip, I guess. But anyway, before we jump into this last review, remember to like and subscribe, turn the notification bell on so you know when I upload and let's jump into this video. So, Adelaide 137, West Coast 38, Shoal 124 was the lead scorer and that was just on the back of 48 in the last quarter, which included 1, 2, 3, 4... Five, six marks in the last quarter, basically amounting to 36 points off those six marks. So he was pretty good, but not going to be fancy relevant. Jordan Dawson went off in the first quarter with a 59, included two goals because I remember looking at it close to the end of the first quarter and he was on 45. So he must have gone off here and gone, yeah, a couple of kick marks it looks like um, to get to himself to a 59. Um, that doesn't add up though. How does he get to a... How was he on a 45, but then get 14 more points here? Because that's 15. So maybe he was on a 44. I don't know exactly what it was, but it said 45. So maybe they're just off with their counting or something. Um, but yeah, anyway. Um, 8, 7, yeah, no, that, that counts up. Hmm, just don't know what happened there, maybe. Anyway, moving on. But yeah, Jordan Dawson was uh, yeah really good. He ended up with like a 140 super coach, so I wish I had actually brought him in. But then again, I did bring in Fisher for like a 116 super coach, so I'm not too worried about that. And my fantasy season's in the bin anyway. Uh, Roy Laird, 101. Uh, he was pretty good in the second half with a 68. And yeah, he just picked up the slack. But again, a 101 isn't that dangerous, and it's not really a top-of-the-line type of um, player at the moment. Could pick him up. Maybe post buys as he's sort of maybe a little bit undervalued, but is he really going to go 110 for the rest of the year post buys? I don't think so, so I don't reckon we'll be picking him up. Uh, Crouch 98 sort of showing that um, he'll have games like this where he just doesn't um, push on to that 110, but he's just been amazing value for what, they, what he was. And 24, 25, 34, 15... A 98 in total and um, going up a little bit more in value but I think this is I wouldn't say jump off him now if you still have him just because of the buys and he'll be crucial during the buys but definitely one of the luxury upgrades I would say after the buys given that he's not going to be top of the line I think he's currently 14th or 15th in terms of scoring out of the midfield line and that's not really what you want sitting at M8, M7 you sort of want that top 12 type of guy um, Jones, 98, he kicked like three goals and it was the most pointless, like, <laughs> it just showed the quality of the game to be honest with two goals here in the space of about three and a half minutes and one goal in the third, in the first. Keane, 95, he just got a lot of kick mark, it looks like. Fogarty, 92, he himself kicked one, um, kicked two, yeah, kicked two goals, it looks like, from, uh, from Fogarty. And yeah, just showed the, the quality that he was able to also grab up, I think, another sort of five or six marks in that sort of area as well. May have even been more. So just shows the dominance that Adelaide had overall, that um, he was able to get uh, a key forward, was able to rack up the score without even getting on the scoreboard too much. He only kicked two goals, which isn't too much on the scoreboard and yeah he ended up with eight marks um hinge as well 92 he ended up with nine marks as well then you got keys 88 he ended up with two goals 120 touches six marks three tackles so just just utter dominance they had four guys collect 30 odd touches and then another couple get 20 odd touches which just shows they shouldn't have been allowed this many touches to be honest and west coast just didn't turn up O'Brien, 82, McElhaney, Walker, Murphy, Berry, Schoenberg, Smith, Rochelle, Nankervis, Burgess, Borlas, Cook, but Saligo. Saligo, I need to figure out. It says tactical. Um, he was subbed out so early with a 37 and just shows that you, he wasn't probably the one to go to. I mean, he, it is pretty unlucky that he did score a 37 and get subbed out. But he wasn't ever scoring above what you really needed him to score. And now he is averaging for the year 76.4. I think he will take the next step in the next couple of years. But I do think it will take a lead uh, positional move or potentially a lead out of the club uh, for him to take that next step in the midfield. Because I think he is one that could be a sort of guy that gets a 34-4 and four type of season. 
but we're just not seeing it at the moment as he's getting 22, 2 and 4 at the moment, which is just 8, um, yeah, 8 disposals, which is probably, if you say 2.5 per disposal as he's got an even um, kick and handball ratio, that's another 20 points plus another 2 marks, that sort of gets him up to um, that 102, I think, no, sorry, 104 range, so... He has a potential, I reckon, to get like another plus 25 or so on his uh, plus 25 to 30 on his current fantasy scoring. But uh, we won't see it this year, I don't think. Uh, McGovern 91, and you can just see the dire quality of this um, West Coast side at the moment with Elliot Yo coming back in for his first game. McGovern 91, Duggan 90, uh, Kelly 81, Jermaine Jones 74, Elliot Yo 72. Just absolute nothingness out of the whole side to be honest Cole 67 Ryan 60 Harley Reid 58 um yeah you just see they didn't turn up until the third quarter it looks like just looking at all of these guys stats here can't turn up in the yeah. all of these guys just didn't turn up in the first half basically look at uh, Jermaine Jones look at Elliot Yo look at um Tom Cole they all have massive input in the or most of their score like 60 to 70 percent of their score in the second half so yeah, it just shows, I think, the quality difference between the two sides. And the first half was just an absolute just run around for Adelaide. I think they almost, did they almost score 100 in the first half or something? It was, um they ran away with it that much that it was just gone. They scored, um what's that, 83 to 22. And then in the second half, it was eight goals, six to um, two goals, four. So yeah, it was, it was just absolutely horrific. Second half, it was... Um, like I said, 54 to 16, which just is still pretty poor. Um, there's not much to really talk about with um, West Coast. I don't really see many um, positives this game. Um, I mean, yeah, they just didn't turn up on the road. And, I mean, Adelaide is a tough place to go to. Chess, I thought, um, ran pretty hard from what I've seen in the, the clips um, after the game. I mean, Bailey Williams just didn't hold up in the ruck. It doesn't seem against um, O'Brien. Marrick, Cripps, Waterman. Waterman didn't kick many goals as well. That didn't help. And they probably were used, had to use their sub way to... Or did he get tactically sub or injured sub out? Because that'll be a big difference. He was injured on 12 in the third quarter. <laughs> that just showed... And then it, Sheed also injured as well, apparently. And Dewar came on and did nothing much, to be honest with you. Um, so yeah, just a weird one for West Coast, um, probably a game that they're just going to scratch off and um, forget about, honestly that's probably almost the best way to do it, but um, yeah, that's the last game of the round, we caught up for all of them, only a day behind in the um, uploads, so yeah, only one video behind now, and tomorrow you will see my fancy round review, which will be pathetic. Um, and then you'll also see my cash cows and trade targets cash cows is looking slim and slimmer and slimmer as we probably By the time that you will hear this um, You'll have seen the Jordan sweet news that dropped a couple hours ago that he was on the B side for the poor Adelaide training So even he's most likely on the outer as well the only positive is that the Collingwood boys seem to um, be in their um, uh, Good job security given the injuries that they've had they've had three guys go down for basically a month three or four Jordan Degoe Hoskin Elliott, Mason Cox, Joe Richards all go down. I mean, Joe Richards was a cash cow himself, but all of them go down with four to six week injuries. So that's probably the only positive with Collingwood um, rookies is their job security now. If they don't get injured, they're pretty much in the side. So anyway, that is the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.